Good morning, children, and welcome to all of you in online classes. Dear students, today I am going to teach you the first lesson of your Hornbill book, and the name of chapter is the portrait of a lady. This particular lesson, the portrait of a lady, has been written by one of the renowned. writer of our country or his name is khuswant singh dear students mr khuswant singh was born on 2nd february 1915 at hadali punjab now in pakistan or he completed his graduation from government college lahore or after completing his graduation mr khuswant singh went to london to get his further education and there dear students he got he earned his llb degree from university of london or after that he started his career as a lawyer mr khuswant singh worked as a lawyer as a writer as a politician and as a diplomat he died in 2014 at delhi he died on 20th march 2014 at delhi this particular story he has written about his own grandmother here here uh, the title is the portrait of a lady this title tells us that it is a description in words of a lady who is fortunately grandmother of mr khuswant singh in this story dear students there are two main characters one khuswant singh the author the writer and narrator of the story or second one is his grand mother who is very close to khuswant singh khuswant singh describes about his uh, grandmother that she was looking very old there were wrinkles on her faces and and one more thing i want to tell you dear students that her hairs were white or mr khuswant singh was observing in the same physical appearance to his grandmother for last 20 years or or there was no change in in the in the uh, physical appearance of his grandmother he tells he says that it was hard to believe him that once she was young and pretty and one more thing i want to tell you dear students ki that that grandmother of khuswant singh was was very old and and her grandfather's picture was also hung above the mantel piece in the drawing room or on the basis of that picture which was uh, hanging above the mantel piece in the drawing room that the his his grandfather's physical appearance was also 
looking like a old man his long white beard covered the best part of his chest one thing or he had worn a big turban that was given in that picture i want to tell you this was all about his grandfather i want to tell you the three phases of uh, the relationship when writer was a young boy he was a small child his parents shifted in city or writer means khushwan singh was living with his with his grandmother or there he was uh, spending his full time with his grandmother grandmother was a religious lady she was always busy in prayers she used to recite the prayers loudly every morning so that the writer could learn writer could memorize the prayers recited by his grandmother but writer khushwan singh has written in his book that he loved the voice of his grandmother but he never took pain to recite the prayers to to learn the prayers recited by grandmother one thing and and one more one more thing i want to tell you dear students ki that every morning grandmother used to help mr writer to go to school and and one thing one more thing ki that she used to help in the writer in different ways she used to help them to get ready for the school she used to wash his wooden slate and she used to plaster it with yellow chalk and after that after that whenever it was the time of school she used to give one thick steel chapatis to the writer to mr khushwan singh in his childhood before going to school or she used to put some butter and 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 sugar on it on that thick steel chapatis so that was the breakfast of mr khushwan singh or after taking his breakfast then grandmother used to go with him to the temple to the school or the school was that the locality temple where the priest was the teacher and he used to teach him dear students and finally finally what happened in this way the writer spent many years or there he was uh, uh, living with his grandmother or after coming from the school from the at the temple gate many many dogs used to collect gather because every day grandmother used to give them some stale chapatis dear students and i want to tell you ki that that grandmother used to throw the stale chapatis to the stray dogs so in this way they spent many years but whenever the economical condition of his father became well they were called to the city by khushwan singh father or this was the turning point in their relationship this was the turning point dear students when the writer shifted to the city or he got admission in the uh, english school there he was getting less time to talk to his grandmother the things were absolutely different from the village here he was uh, getting english uh, uh, education here subjects were changed teachers were changed the pattern was changed so this was the turning point even the sometimes sometimes the uh, writer's grandmother used to inquire also about that ki that uh, what the teachers were teaching when the writer and mr khushwan singh told her that they were teaching science and english she was very much upset and unhappy because she thought that the religious things and scriptures should be taught in the school but in that english medium school there was no period and no teaching of such things 
even when the writer told her that they were teaching her they were teaching her music uh, teaching him music also she was very upset because ekard in her mind music is the music is uh, not for the decent people it is for beggars and prostitutes anyhow the writer spent his school days but the relationship emotional bonding be started becoming weaker and weaker or finally when he got admission in university to separate room was given to the writer kushwant singh so their emotional bonding was broken here and and they were not getting time to to live with each other after completing university education the writer got opportunity to go abroad or there he was going to complete his llb when the writer was going to the going to abroad and when he reached to the nearest railway station the writer's grandmother also reached there to see him off at that time writer observed that his grandmother was busy in prayers and she was not uh, talking anything ultimately she kissed the writer's forehead writer thought that it was it was the last physical contact between him and his grandmother but after 5 years when khuswant singh returned back dear students he found that his grandmother was again they are at the railway station to receive him or there was no change in her physical appearance she was busy in her prayers or finally finally what happened finally in the evening dear students she called the locality women or she stopped her prayer on that evening at that evening she started singing song or or she thought that uh, our that arrangement she made to welcome kushwant singh or what happened she sang at that at that evening she even she was thumping drums also she she even sang many songs also what happened i want to tell you further even even the family members tried to stop her but she did not stop or after this was the amazing change seen by khuswant singh in the nature of her grandmother in his grandmother she never stopped her prayer and and next morning she suffered from mild fever or when they decided they when they decided to call the doctor she said that it was the end of her life no need to call the doctor or finally dear students i want to tell you ki that that after oh, but in that uh, last moment of her life the family members wanted to talk her but she did not talk to anybody she was busy in her prayers or finally ultimately her rosary fell down from her lifeless fingers or she was no more she was dead and 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 dear students in this way it was the grandmother was no more but but uh, at that evening but the sparrows which used to come regularly in the evening because grandmother used to give them chapatis to them they came they sat but they did not create any noise they came to give their respect to that lady to grandmother of khuswant singh understood or after that her body was covered with red shawl south and finally the process of funeral cremation was completed and 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 when his grand when his mother means mother of kushwant singh when 
she brought some chapatis and she broken into pieces and threw to the sparrows they did not eat at the evening they did not create any noise they quietly flew away so this story is dear students about grandmother of writer and grandmother of writer so this this is the description of that lady dear students i will tell you teach you line by line in next video thank you dear students